Greetings everybody, I'm Nick DiVirgilio and today's video is on this fantastic Noble & Cooley drum kit and these Noble & Cooley snare drums. Let's go. At the time of making this video for you all, Noble & Cooley is a new brand for us here at Sweetwater and we are all very excited to have them part of the Sweetwater family. The history of the company dates all the way back to 1854, founded by Silas Noble and James P. Cooley. They made drums during the Civil War, for political rallies, and even the largest drum on record used in the Boston at Gilmore's 1869 National Peace Jubilee. By 1873, they were producing 100,000 drums a year. Amazing. The company goes back so far that they transitioned their factory from water power to steam power. What a history. Coming all the way up to the 1980s is when I first heard of Noble & Cooley drums because I was a huge Phil Collins fan and he famously played Noble & Cooley snare drums, very similar to the one I have right here behind me. In the early 90s, when I was making my way around the Los Angeles music scene, Noble & Cooley snares were what every drummer wanted in their arsenal. Now we're here in 2022 and I get to play these incredible drums and snares. The company's three brand pillars of heritage, craftsmanship and sound are definitely in every drum I have here with me today. The kit I have in front of me here today is 100% Italian walnut. Italian walnut, all right, hey. St steam bent shells with graduated plies. And graduated plies mean there's more plies in the bigger drums and less plies in the smaller drums. There's 45 degree bearing edges on the toms and snare drums and 30 degree bearing edges on the kick drum. The rack tom I have here is a 12 by nine. The floor tom is 16 by 16 and the kick drum is 22 by 16. Now this is a shell pack, so you can get the walnut snare like I have here in front of me, which is a 14 by seven, or any of the other fantastic Noble & Cooley snares, which you'll hear shortly. One thing I think is really cool and to point out hardware wise on this kit is the tom mount. It's pretty unique. Let me show you what it is. First thing I wanna do is take off this Telefunken mic, which is super easy to do. Stick it right there on the snare. Check out how easy it is to put this tom on and take it off. Here we go. The arm itself is connected to the rim system here, which is connected to the lugs, giving the drum great resonance. And the mount itself is right here. Let me loosen it up and show you what it is. It'll fit on any standard L arm that you have on your kit. Tighten it on and it's good to go. It's got a little bit of a diagonal to it. That arm fits right here in the top. It is super simple. So it's a memory lock and a tom holder all in one. Tighten her down, get your drum, put it in, you're ready to rock. All right, now let's get into the sound of these drums. But there's one more thing I wanna mention before we do, and I wanna quickly talk about the rest of the gear I have around these fantastic drums. Sabian anthology cymbals and Telefunken microphones all around, and most of them come from the DC7 microphone kit. I have the case with me right here. A very nice case, sturdy, all the mics fit in it. You have M81s on the toms, an M80 on the snare drum, an M82 on the kick drum. I have TF29s that don't come in the DC7 kit, but TF29 copperheads for the overhead microphones. And I also have a Neumann FET47 out in the room just to give you a little bit of natural ambience of the drum sound. 
All of the microphones are going into a UA Apollo X8P and then feeding on into Pro Tools, and that's how you're hearing these beautiful drums. All right, enough talking, let's get into these drums. I'm gonna turn the snare wires off and start with the toms. Again, it's a 12 by nine and a 16 by 16. A beautiful, warm tone. There's Evans G1 coated heads on both toms, and it took me no time at all to tune these drums. They could go anywhere. I could take them a lot higher in the tuning range if I wanted to, especially if I was doing a jazz gig, but they naturally went to this pitch, and boy, they have a great warm sound, especially from the drummer's perspective. Snare wires on and do the same thing. Now onto the kick drum. I also want to mention that all of the drums have no dampening at all. Everything is completely wide open, including the kick drum, and there's no hole on the front head. Check out how big this kick drum sounds. Here we go. Oh, it's huge, especially from the drummer's perspective. When I bury the beater into this head, I get a really big sound, and I'm using the felt side of this DW9000 kick drum pedal. Let me turn the beater around and hear, so you hear the plastic side with this drum. Great sound, a little more attack with the plastic side. I do prefer the felt side, but that's just me. Okay, snare wire's on, let's do the same thing. It's nice and sensitive, you hear it when I play quietly, the, the low end is still there, and then when I hit it hard, it's big, fat, and punchy. Now we're gonna get into all of the snare drums along with this kit. I'm gonna start here with the 14x7 Walnut Drum. One thing I should mention about all the drums here is the beautiful hardware. The tube lugs and the lugs themselves are fantastic. The gold finish with this beautiful walnut shell is just really eye-catching and looks great, especially under these white lights in our video studio here today. Great tube lugs on this walnut drum here, on the walnut snare drum. Goes together well, easily tunable, and feels great under the hands. Here we go, the walnut 14 by seven. Big, warm sound, beautiful tone when the snare wires are off, and a big, deep, I don't know, just fatness to it when the snare wires are on. Again, there's no dampening, so you can dampen this drum up a little bit, put on a different head. It has an ambassador, a coated Remo ambassador on it right now, so you got a nice, typical, wide open drum sound, but different head combinations, some dampening. You can go anywhere with this snare drum. Okay, now I have in front of me the 14 by six raw aluminum drum. Fantastic looking and feeling drum. The same tube lugs, just in a chrome finish here. 
feels good and sounds good. Here it is with the snare wires off and I'll put them on and check it out. Here we go. There's nothing like a great metal drum, and this one is just singing. Again, there's no dampening, so you're going to hear the tone of the shell giving a nice note. You could take that anywhere you want. It fit with the drum kit. The tone fit with the drum kit, no problem. It feels really good and a big, beefy sound. Next up is the 14 by 6 aluminum shell, but this time it has a black powder coating. Feels really good, looks cool, especially with this kit. The black and brown definitely go together. Chrome tube lugs. Triple flanged hoops, sounds great, check it out. Yes, this drum sounds great too. They all sound great. What's really cool about these drums is that they're inspiring to play. I hear the tone and I just want to take it places naturally. That's a great thing. Has a beautiful tone with the snare wires off. I tune this one up. It's the same aluminum shell as the raw, just with the black powder coating, and I made it sound different because I tuned it a lot higher. Feels really good, nice, snappy, bright sound. Could definitely cut over any sort of loud, distorted guitars in a band like that. Really cool, great feeling drum. Okay, we have two drums left, and right now I have the 14x5 maple drum with this beautiful natural finish. This time the lugs have a gold plating on them, look beautiful, triple flanged hoops, let's do it. This is so much fun, I'm really spoiled today. Again, lots of inspiration just by hearing the drum. I wanted to go jazz, I wanted to do a little blues shuffle, and it just came just from hearing the tone of the drum. Feels really good, and it has a huge sound for a five by 14 inch shell. Last but not least in our snare drum line here is the 14 by three and seven eighths, close to 14 by four, but it is three and seven eighths, maple drum, and they, they call this the Phil Collins drum. He used a drum very similar to this, and all of the huge hits back in the day when he played with Genesis on his solo material, all that stuff. 
and it just sounds really great. The only difference between the Phil Collins model and this one is Phil Collins used die cast hoops rather than triple flange hoops. This drum comes with triple flange hoops and I wanted to show you the throw off. Every drum has the same throw off, maybe a little different color, but it's the exact same thing and it's so easy to use. Pull back, it feels really solid in your hand. You adjust the snare wire tension right there, put it back on, just like that. It's really easy and it stays on. Once it's about halfway up, it's not coming back or getting loose at all. So that's a really nice piece of gear right there. One last thing to talk about is the snare wires. They make their own snare wires at Noble & Cooley. What's cool about these snare wires is that the string is embedded in the wire frame. It's connected to the wire frame. So when you tighten the snare wires down, it actually pulls on each side of the drum at the snare bed and pulls the wires towards the head, getting a nice flat feel. It covers all of the snare drum on the bottom. It's a really nice coverage of the snare wires, giving you that big, fat sound no matter what drum you're playing. The first impression I get from this drum and hearing it for the first time is what a huge sound it has from such a small shell. Such a small shell. Say that 10 times fast. Such a small shell. But it's 14 by 3 and 7 eighths, and sometimes piccolo snares, as you can call them sometimes, have a brighter, smaller sound. This sound is huge, but still bright and attacky and feels really good. It's definitely giving back to me as a drummer. I had to throw in a couple Phil Collins-y type riffs in there. Hope you kind of, if you recognize them, you know what I was playing. And uh, a great feeling drum, goes with this kit for sure. And it'd be a great drum to have in anybody's snare drum collection. And there you go, everybody. Noble and Cooley drums, incredible instruments to make music with. If you want any more information, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. I'm Nick DiVirgilio. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click right here for more videos just like this one or go to sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.